This morning is already not going good. So Olivia had to sleep in bed with, or slept in bed with me because she's really sick. She acts like she's doing better already this morning. Solomon decided that instead of getting up from the bed and going to the bathroom to throw up, he instead would lay in the bed, puke in the bed, scoot down, and continue to sleep. So now I have to wash bed sheets, give him a bath, and question what possibly could go through someone's head to make them sleep in their own throw up. Or not even try to go to the bathroom. This right here is just like the confessions of a frustrated mother. <laughs> that highly frustrated. Just, I cannot comprehend what would possibly make him want to do that. <sighs> and then sleep in it all night. Oh, I don't know. I didn't sleep good either to top that off because Olivia is like sleeping with a small tornado. If you wonder why the light keeps changing, they're watching a cartoon. That's the only light on right now. Okay, let's get this day started and hope that it's not terrible the rest of the day. Okay, so um, I'm washing kids' bedding, obviously, because of throw up. No, I had already done one child. So really, <clears throat> the only person who needs their bed done left is Solomon, because he was in Mara's bed when he threw up. Um, I never did do the coffee, but that's okay, because I moved it to next week. I put the bookshelf, I don't know if I'll get to that today or not, but I did under the couch. And I actually might see what John thinks about rearranging our living room. Guys, I love to rearrange. I love to rearrange the living room. Um, I'm going to the grocery store doing the live stream tonight. I still have not talked about the cost of quail, and I've still not talked about our giveaway, which I definitely need to get on both of those. Clean the empty cage today. Tomorrow I'm giving winter a bath, but tomorrow I'm wanting to go to the Lenore City um, Livestock. It's like a the tractor supply. They have a livestock day where everybody comes out, and it's not even because I plan to buy anything or sell anything. It's more about networking, just kind of getting some feelers out for... Um, the does that I want to get, you know, possibly selling more rabbits that I have, maybe even selling quail, um, or, you know, in the future once mine actually start to lay. Uh, so, and that's just kind of what this, this right here is about. Um, and of course, I want to go pet some goats and chickens and stuff. <laughs> so, we're going to do that tomorrow. I think it starts at like 8 in the morning. John's going to be so thrilled. So, that's what I've got for this week. Uh, next week I've already started like um, getting some stuff together what rooms I want to work on what bills I need to pay and when that kind of thing um, another thing is we are going to start live streaming our church uh, it starts at 1130 not 1130 bleh, it starts at 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time every Sunday morning I will be live streaming it so if you guys are interested you can join us on YouTube for that so all right I'm going to write all this stuff down and then we'll start on a grocery list. Last day. Last day. Oh, yeah. In the weekend. Say love you, sissy. I love Obviously, they can't get hurt, but I don't like them being away from Mama. So, they're all eating now, and nobody could care. Not even the slightest bit about what just happened. Not even slightly. <laughs> they're all content to just eat their feed. And then, take a look at this. Oh, where's their water, you ask? Where's their feeder? Where's their house? <sighs> Seriously, guys. Seriously? The only body that's not caused trouble today is Willow and her babies. 
Well, you've all been good today. But looky here, we got ears up, eyes open. <laughs> what are you doing over here? Huh? Get with your brothers and sisters. There you go. What were you doing? I don't know why they're uncovered. Mama must have just been messing with them when I come in here. Look at this. Look at how stinking cute. Good morning, little fat face. Good morning, little fat face. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Not you. Let me see, is it you? It's you. He's got the stumpiest little face. <laughs> it's got the puggiest little nose. I love it. It's just so cute. So that's probably going to go to my mama. Morning, Willow Rose. You make some of the fattest babies in the whole wide world. <sighs> Listening to my neighbor scream. So fun. Another non-troublemaker. Elvis. Elvis don't ever get into anything. He doesn't do anything. The only problem we have with him is you try to touch him and he's going to panic. He's not to be touched, he says. But for the most part, he's just kind of chill, does his thing. Eats his food. He's got to where he understands treats now, so that's a good thing. Not that they mind, but you see all the feed right there on the ground? Yeah. I'm just like having not a good day today. I spilt feed all over the ground. I mean, they're eating it. They don't care. But still, that's a lot of feed to just throw in there, so. <sighs> I'm just not having a good day, guys. Everything that could go wrong is so far. I'm hoping that the rest of this day goes better. It's only 9 o'clock. <laughs> I'm hoping it just keeps getting better from here. So, good thing, good news, some good news for today. Um, I was on Facebook, and you know how they have like the Facebook marketplace, and you can see things that are in your local area for sale. Well, this lady was selling a crock pot. Now, you guys know that my crock pot has went kapooey. Um, and there's so much stuff that I used to cook in that thing that I can't cook anymore. So, um, I need my eyebrows done, son. Woo! Okay. So, anyway, <laughs> this lady was selling it for five bucks, and she lives, like, the next town over. And I messaged her, and I was like, hey, uh, is your crock pot in good condition? Five quart, um, which is not as big as the one that I had, but it'll still work, um, for five bucks. Five bucks, and it works. Nothing's wrong with it. She just got a really nice one for Christmas and just wants to get rid of it. So it's not taking up her counter space. So I'm headed right now to meet her to uh, get this car. So I'm sitting here waiting on this lady and it got me to thinking, I really need to stop constantly stressing about things that don't matter, number one. And number two, I also need to look on the positive side. The positive side of today, even though so far, like it feels like everything's going wrong. Um, I mean, I woke up. I get to go to the grocery store because I have money to buy food. Um, my kids might be a little sick with head colds, but they're relatively healthy. Like, nobody has anything dire. Um, John's going to be off for four days. Two of those are going to be paid because his line is so far ahead in production. Uh, I got a crock pot for $5, and we're just now at 10 o'clock. So, I'm going to try to focus on the positive today because I am a personal believer that the day is what you make it. Like, if your day is going crappy, um, generally, you just got to kind of change your attitude a little bit. Now, some things, like, can't be helped, but for the most part, try to change the way you are viewing the day. Try to look for the positives in everything. Um, if there be anything good, think on this. So, that's what I'm going to try to do today. So. We're going to wait on this lady with the crock pot and then we're going to go to the grocery store. hotter than the bigger man in here put on some makeup I'm gonna pick up the bathroom and the rest of the house I'm not gonna clean clean I'm just gonna pick up I've been so moody today oh my god it's just been like one thing after another then I found out somebody put it on Facebook it was like oh it's Friday the 13th and a full moon maybe that's the problem I don't know I'm not very superstitious but either way um, I'm doing the live stream tonight and there's a good chance that we're gonna talk about something there's a chance chance that I will be getting one of my chickens back. So you'll just have to stay tuned to see who it is. So John's asleep. 
Livy's watching cartoons and Solomon is asleep and coughing. So I do believe between that and the three times that he's thrown up today, um, and I think a lot of the reason he's like me, he pukes easy. I think the reason he's throwing up is because he is coughing. Between that and this sick little boy, there's not a lot of anything going on other than cartoons and cuddling. So I guess um, that's just about the only thing I'm going to do. Later this afternoon, my sister is coming over and John's cousin Corey are coming over. And I'm making homemade Chinese food. We're doing a pineapple brown sugar chicken with rice and those crab ragoons and sushi. I like to cook. Um, we're just waiting on Mara to get off school. And then that's pretty much it. And then I'll do the live stream tonight. So I'm just going to go ahead and end the vlog there. Um, simply because, I mean, I'm not really going to be doing anything until later on and then you'll get to see me tonight. So, love you guys. Make sure you check out all our social media links down below and I'll see you tonight. Love you.